murder based on intent, premeditated murder based on intent. That's what it talks. The very standard case of uh, crime. That's what it talks about. But how it plays out in life, other conditions and other factors should be taken into consideration. Yeah, so it's not like a very rigid kind of thing. Islam is very dynamic. So it takes all the factors into account and uh, the level of responsibility has to be applied wisely, has to be assessed wisely by the judge and the ruling or the sentence has to be, has to match the level of the crime. This is like pretty much like what you have sometimes in courts here. Regardless, like a court, if you steal, someone steals, for example, they take into court. The judge is going to take a lot, like a lot of issues into in consideration. Maybe the person was really in need. Maybe the person wasn't in their right mind. Maybe they were under so much stress. They take these factors. They factor them in. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Questions? But the khibla. Like say you traveling, you went somewhere, and you were with a group. One tried best say this way, but the way he pointed his tight, it doesn't fit more people. Mm -hmm. The one met like say this way better because we have a more room. Is that correct? Like that the way to do it? So let me make sure I understand the question. So people are traveling, they come, they want to pray, like as a group, right? Yeah. So they want to pray, and they find this place to pray pray in, and they find the direction of the Qibla. But if they're going to take this direction, the place will be too small for them. Yeah. But if they change it a little bit, it could take all of them. Yeah. I would recommend they, they pray as two groups. Okay. Take turns, which would be better. A slight change in Qibla is not a big deal. Yeah, but a complete change because like, the other person is not for sure. Like he's just trying his best, saying this. Yeah, you try your best. And that's someone right. among the group like try and say, why are you just do it? Like let's do it this way. No, if like a person has done their best to find out the direction of the Qibla, sure to be this way, regardless. Halas, we stick to that. Mm. We stick to that. Not because it's just. Not a hundred percent sure. Because we, sometimes it happens. I see like people just say. No, I say prayers to groups. Agents <coughs> shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. Um, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, he was journey to Beit uh, When he was. When he was journey to Maqdis, and then he prayed two rakah before he, he went to his journey, and then there's no salah at that time. Was that two rakah? No, there was. was salah. Oh yeah. What was in the in the journey of the Salah? Oh, the journey, yeah. Huh? On the first journey that he went. Oh yeah, yeah. There was Salah before that. But what that happened during that five. journey was the five daily prayers prescribed. But the Muslims before that, they used to pray. They used to pray to Raka'ah in the morning, to Raka'ah in the evening. And they used to pray to Yamil late at night. It was before, yeah, from the early, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi right early in his message, he was given salah. The, 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 like, how you pray, the how, it was given early. But what was given in the journey, or the Sawal Miraj, is the specification of the five daily prayers. That was, that's what was given. Okay, yeah. Right, we'll leave it here, I'll let you go. We'll see you Ah, oh, by the way. By the way, so I'm uh, I'm fly next week. I'll be flying to Calgary, <laughs> so we have to cancel the halakha, inshallah. So next, oh, sorry, next Saturday. So so we will meet in two weeks, inshallah. So that gives you good time for your homework, right? That gives you good time for your homework. And guys, just to make it easy for you to follow with me here, I know sometimes I might I might read a little bit quickly, or I might just go over the translation. You might feel this is quick. If you guys just go over like, let's see, 30 verses, and they're not a lot, by the way, like they're three pages on this, or two pages. Uh, if you read it before you come here, you actually have a good, like you have a clue of what we're going to talk about. It makes it easy for you to follow. Okay? So if you do that, it probably takes 10 minutes from you, and it helps you, inshallah. Okay, so we'll see you in two weeks, inshallah. Where did you stop it? Huh?